Welcome back to 10 Slide Info. Here is again a video with consolidated updates on the ongoing war between Israel and Palestine. As the conflict intensifies in Gaza, tensions have risen along Israel's border with Lebanon. Israel remains on high alert along its northern border against Hezbollah in Lebanon. Weapons, bulletproof vests and helmets are being distributed near the Lebanon border, and the terms for obtaining guns has been made easy. It seems 900 of 4,000 automatic weapons have been purchased for the distribution to civilians in the Lebanon border. Most of the women and children from the small Israeli border town of Shomera have left, while men guard the town with automatic weapons. It is said that the Israeli government has purchased 10,000 handguns for emergency response units, and the civilian security teams will guard small towns near West Bank settlements. In addition to this, the Israeli unmanned aerial vehicles are also conducting reconnaissance flights in the area. One more thing which makes Israel worry is the images which have been released by the Al-Qassam brigades, which shows rockets stored in secret underground facilities. These are similar to the rockets, which have been used to attack Israel on October 7. Even though the United States has sent two aircraft carriers near Israel to support them in fighting the Hamas group, the United Kingdom has plans to send their HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier to the eastern Mediterranean. Another major update coming from the side of the Wall Street Journal is regarding the formation of a squadron of A-10 Thunderbolt attack aircraft at the Al Dafra Air Base in United Arab Emirates to support Israel. The A-10 are powerful aircraft that are capable of inflicting heavy casualties. If they are used in strikes against densely populated areas, it is likely that there will be a significant number of civilian deaths, which is not a good idea. It is important to note that the deployment of A-10 attack aircraft to Al Dafra is still in its early stages. It is not yet clear how the aircraft will be used or what impact they will have on the conflict between Israel and Palestine. So, that was one more video to provide vital updates on the ongoing Israel and Palestine war. We will come up with more videos to provide more updates on the latest happenings. Thanks for watching. We hope you find these videos informative and helpful. Please subscribe to 10 Slide Info channel and stay tuned for more updates on the defense and aviation side. Thank you.